When you go to record a record and you put your name on the front of the thing and you maintain that all the music contained therein is yours, uh, it's best if that's the case. Uh, there are, of course, sort of those nagging ethical considerations and then there are very real legal ramifications that need to be taken into consideration. Um, upon the completion of the next piece, it was rather immediately pointed out to me that it bore an uncanny resemblance to a piece of music by the guitarist John Fahey. Um, John had called his piece the last steam engine train, and I, perhaps as disguise, had called mine the rediscovery of Big Bug Creek, Arizona, circa 1857. Uh, uh, not part of the autobiographical series, I might point out. Um, in any event, to clarify the matter, I flew to Los Angeles to play it for John, and I did so, and John looked up, and John said, you can have it. So, not, you know, precisely the response I was looking for. Uh, neither does it completely answer the question as to whose song it is. Um, my feeling about it now, however, is that if you like it, it's mine, and if you don't, it's John Faye's. <laughs> Sorry, John. Thank you very much.